Okay, good morning everybody, it's Mike. Thanks for jumping on here with, this, with me this morning. You know, yesterday I asked you if you felt like you were living the life you want to lead. Is your health and fitness where you want it to be? How about your weight? Is that where you want it to be? Your personal relationships, are they as strong and intimate as you wish they were? How about your faith? How about your faith? Do you have a close personal relationship, intimate relationship with your God? How about you? Let's talk about you for a second. My gosh, are, are you pursuing the personal interests that thrill you? Or too often, are you just trying to live up to the burdens and expectations of others? Are you earning the income that you know that you're capable of earning to support the lifestyle that you desire? And do you have the peace that comes with ample savings and investments? Are you living debt free and feeling the joy, and I would call it joy, that accompanies a debt free lifestyle without a stack of bills and the IRS chasing us down? Are you living the life you want to live? You know, I ask all these questions because I have this thing written on my desk. I look at it multiple times every day because it's just that important and it's true. That if I always do what I've always done, I'm going to always get what I always got. So today I want to ask you just one more question. Who are you? Who are you? You see, I believe there's four types of real estate agents in this business. And I'm wondering which one of these four you think you are. The first type is the unproductive and uncoachable. They don't sell anything and they're not open to advice and input. They think they got it all figured out. They think they can do this all by themselves, yet they don't. They don't sell anything. They're unproductive and they're uncoachable. The second type of agent I found is the unproductive but coachable. I personally love these people. They're not hitting their stride yet. Their sales aren't where they want them to be, but it's not from lack of effort on their part. It just hasn't clicked in yet, but I know it's going to. And I just pray every day that they don't give up on themselves before it has a chance to take fire because it's just a matter of time before it does, because they're so coachable. If, if they hear advice and guidance that they agree with, then they implement it. They just do it. They're what some people would call action takers. You might say that they're not productive yet in their real estate careers, and that might be true, but the operative word there is yet. They're going to be because they're so coachable. The third type of agent is the productive and the coachable. These are people who are hitting their stride, they are earning good income, and they're constantly seeking ways to do more, do it better, do it more efficiently. They're constantly searching and they're open to advice. Maybe they don't act on every single thing, but they're always open to new ideas and a new approach. The fourth type of agent is probably the hardest to understand. These are the productive but uncoachable. The way they're different from the third type of agent is they're both productive, they're both selling homes every year, they're both earning good income. The fourth kind of agent, the uncoachable ones, they just think they don't need advice or guidance or input from anybody that they've got their shit all figured out and they're totally self-sufficient and they don't need anything from anybody. Okay, I guess I want to ask you which one you think you are. Which one of those four? Productive and uncoachable, unproductive and uncoachable, unproductive but coachable, productive and coachable, productive but uncoachable. Which one of those four do you think you are? Now I want to ask you a second question. In your opinion, 
Which one of those four do you think that I think you are? Which one do you think you are? Now, what do you think my answer for you would be? Which one of those four do you think that I think you are? And is there a gap there? Is the answer the same? Do you think you're one kind of agent, but you go, no, but you'll probably say that I'm this other kind. Where's the gap? What's going on there? If the answer is not the same, why wouldn't the answer be the same? If you always do what you've always done, you're going to always get what you've always gotten. Is that okay with you? If you want different results, does it make sense that you might need to establish different patterns? That maybe that the way that you're going about things needs to be revised. Could that be possible? The ones of you that are so sure so positive that your ideas about things are right on target and you don't agree with my take on them. You know, I don't, Mike, I don't need to be at the office. Mike, I don't need to revise my social media. I, I've got this. No, I'm right. The way I'm doing it's right. Then I just want to encourage you to take a look at your results. If you're so right, then your results ought to be right where you want them to be. Shouldn't they? But if they're not, I want to encourage you to take a look at the four types of agents and make sure whether you're productive yet or unproductive still, that you remain coachable, that you're open to advice and guidance and observations, that you will give them serious consideration and where it makes sense and where you're not getting the results that you had hoped for, you're willing to adapt and change. I still do it after 35 years and more than 10,000 homes sold. Wouldn't you think that I should have it pretty nailed down by now? Nah, I don't. The one thing that I never really banked on, I guess, was that the world was going to keep changing and that I would have to keep adapting and changing with it. I never really bet on that, but that's what's happened. So as a result, I have coaching. I'm in it every week. I spend, I offer it to you, and I've got decades of experience over you and thousands and thousands of homes sold over you. So I know more than you. That's just that. I'm not smarter than you are. I'm just more experienced. And I've been through some of the pain that you're going through. And I can help you with that. If you're coachable. If you're uncoachable, then I can't help you at all. Now, that's available to you at no charge because you're affiliated with our company. I, I pay somebody $1,200 an hour to coach me every week. Why would I do that? Because I don't have it all figured out. And even the things I think I have figured out need to be revised, adjusted, tweaked. Why? Because I'm not always right. Rarely, ask my wife, rarely am I right. Um, and even on some of the things that I was right about in the past, the marketplace and the world have changed and I need to adjust and tweak my approach to things or my thinking and mindset in certain areas. Even after 35 years, I'm still doing that. Are you? Are you coachable? Do you want different results in any area of your life? Are you looking for different results? Then maybe we need to change our patterns. And by folks, by doing this, this is how we're going to go out and we're going to make it happen for ourselves today. Just like this.